Yeah, the news is true, folks. I, Jake Paul, will be fighting Mike Perry, Tampa, Florida, July 20th. Let's cut to the mega fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson has been rescheduled for November 15th. However, this does not stop this Paul brother from stepping into the ring this July. Yep, the problem child has a fight lined up in July, and no, it's not Mike Tyson. It's the other Mike, Mike Perry. You heard that right? Bare knuckle superstar Mike Perry wants smoke with Paul. And let's just say Mike Tyson isn't too happy about Jake replacing him with Platinum Perry. Yeah, this rubbed Iron Mike the wrong way. And the last you could want is to have a ferocious monster like Mike Tyson gunning for your head. This summer was all about the problem child stepping into the ring with Mike Tyson. But if you're gonna take that away from Tyson, then you gotta deal with the consequences on November 15th. A statement was released by TMZ Sports, which revealed the initial reaction of Mike Tyson to this sudden change of opponents. Perry is just an appetizer. I'm the real deal, said Iron Mike to TMZ. You can't argue against that, especially when Jake Paul has been preaching the same words. He's treating this matchup with Perry as a tune-up fight before stepping into the ring with the ferocious Mike Tyson. Jake has admitted on camera that he is scared of Mike Tyson, so beating Mike Perry beforehand might just give him the confidence he needs going up against the heavyweight legend. This question is for Jake. Obviously, uh, Mike is one of the biggest hitters that the heavyweight division has ever seen. Um, I just want to know, when you're thinking about his power, he looks very ferocious on Instagram, especially still. Um, do you feel like you'll be able to take Mike Tyson's power at this stage? I know I will be able to. I'm, I'm a natural born heavyweight. This is, this, is, this is what I was born to do, is to move up into this weight class, and I'm going to show Mike who has the more power because he's underestimating me. I think everyone else is underestimating me and I believe that I hit harder. I know it's gonna be tough. I know I'm gonna have to fight through adversity. I know I might even go to the canvas. I'm, I'm scared, don't get me wrong, but it's not about the fear stopping me. It's about going into it even though I am scared and that's what true bravery is. Mike, can, can he take the power, Mike? Excuse me? Can Jake take your power? We're gonna see, huh? Both fighters, Perry and Paul, had their first face-to-face -face on the Ariel Helwani podcast. And let's just say, things got pretty heated in there. I know Mike Tyson says everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face, but I like getting punched in my face. That's because you're a fucking idiot. What makes me good at fighting That's is I don't like getting punched in the face, and I practice not to. That's what I'm going to teach you in the sport of boxing, you little bitch. It's funny that you call this fight Fear No Man because you will be terrified on July 20th. What's there to be scared of? You're just a Mike appetizer. A little Mike mozzarella stick just gets you right before the main course. Mike Tyson, November 15th. But July 20th, I'm going to show you who your dad is. That's for sure. But a Jake Paul fight wouldn't be complete without some outrageous banter exchanged. I won't get out of your face. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm in there all night long. You're going to get married to I kind of like that. Yes, I mm -hmm. do, bro. I want to be married. Mm -hmm. I want to be entangled with you forever. I'll even hit you with a little reach around, brother, if you want that. Let's get married, bro. Bro, get up all in my face. And I kind of would like it if you put your notes in my mouth, and I'm gonna lie. It's quite notable that Paul is not taking this fight seriously. I mean, he's fighting Perry just so he could have more wins on his record before going up against Tyson. He's already overlooking Mike Perry, and something tells me it won't end well for Paul. Yes, Mike Tyson is one of the greatest of all time. But he's not the best right now. I mean, the guy's pushing 60. He's twice the age of Paul. Mike had to deal with a medical emergency because of a flight. Now, if a flight can send him to a hospital, then a fight with a young and fresh boxer should be far out of the question. Mike Perry, on the other hand, is more of a threat. So you know how Perry was a beast in the UFC? Well, he's been straight dominating since he left too. He's six, zero in his post-UFC fights, with five of those wins coming in the BKFC ring. He's taken down some big names too, like Luke Rockhold, Michael Page, Eddie Alvarez, and Thiago Alves. The man's a legend, and his skills are still on point. And you don't have to take my word for it, just look at what he did to his last opponent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be extremely hard, it has to be extremely precise. Now if that doesn't send chills down Paul's spine, then I don't know what will. But here comes the interesting part. Did you know both the fighters have sparred with each other before? Yep, that's right.
Usually when it comes to spas, fighters argue about who got the better of who, as we saw with Tank Davis and Frank Martin. But what if I tell you that Mike Perry himself stated that Paul destroyed him their spa? Yep, that's right. Good job, dude. Keep my eye No, it's good, bro. <laughs> Good work. Now that spices up things for sure. Maybe that's why Paul is so relaxed going into this fight. He knows he's handled him before so he can do it again, right? If this is Paul's game plan, then make no mistake, he's going to be hitting the canvas this July 20th. Spars mean nothing. Word on the street was that Frank Martin bested Gavonta Davis when they sparred. Well, we saw what happened in the fight, though. Frank got flatlined. However, there's more to this spa than it's letting on, because take a look at what Mike Perry said in this interview. I was trying to work with him, and then he wanted to be an asshole to me. So, f that. Any time, I'll fight Jake Paul. Any time. He knows what happened last time. He tried to put that video out, and then he stopped talking when I responded, didn't he? I'm the money fight. Everybody knows that anyways. I mean, Jake Paul's a big name. Mike Tyson, you know, I said, I want to be included with the best fighters in, of all time. But hey, sparring doesn't count for much, and former MMA superstar Daniel Cormier believes this as well. That's why he's got Platinum Perry winning this pro bout. Can Mike Perry stalk him in the way that he stalks these guys in bare knuckle? And does the damage make Jake Paul start to question himself like he did to Luke Rocco? What we have learned about Jake is that he possesses enough skills to cause problems for many in the boxing ring. He's going to be bigger than Perry. He's going to have more boxing experience than Perry. But does that equate? If I'm being honest with you, I believe that Mike Perry wins this fight. I think Mike Perry is going to make this fight just ugly enough to beat Jake. But if he doesn't, and if his game plan isn't ideal, he will find himself putting himself in dangerous areas, and Jake Paul can crack. Jake has the size and the skills, but with Perry's bare-knuckle background, he's going to make this fight rough enough to have the edge over his opponent. MA superstar Sean O'Malley also gave his two cents on this matchup. Mike Perry, Jake Paul gets a little more interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not bare knuckle, but Mike or Jake even fucking loses the name. It's still like the motherfucker can fight uh, Mike Perry. It'd be interesting. I wonder if Jake would even entertain that. If bare, knuckle the, bare knuckles like, hey, we'll, we'll give you $5 million to fight Mike Perry. Plus bare -knuckle. Or what? I wonder if he'd be like, fuck no. A controversial figure in the fight industry. Dylan Dennis also gave his brutally honest thoughts on the bout taking place this summer. This fight has got the fans excited more than the fight with Mike Tyson. Cause let's be real, Jake Paul stepping into the ring with an old retired fighter is a film we've all seen before. And no one wants to see the great Mike Tyson get pieced up by a Disney kid. The fight with Perry makes more sense and buzz in the boxing scene. The fans are sharing their reactions all over social media, so let's take a look at what these boxing enthusiasts are saying. One fan commented, Way more interested in Jake Paul and Platinum Perry. If you have any awareness of what Perry has been doing in bare-knuckle fighting, he's a legitimate threat. Perry poses a real threat to Paul. This fight is a lot more close than it seems on paper. Another fan commented, Fighting Mike Perry while you wait for a 60-year-old version of Mike Tyson to get healthy is sort of like saying, Hey, I want to adopt a dog, but first I think I'll open my home to a rabid raccoon just so I can get used to the idea. Another one stated, Not to jinx anything, but what if Mike Perry's power doesn't translate as well in boxing gloves? Now that's a really big what if. And it's one we'll find out on fight night. But hey, Perry has always wanted this fight with Jake Paul. The blood could not run any colder between these two fighters. I'm sure Platinum Perry won't let anything get in the way of ending Jake's career. Mike, when you fight next? Hopefully it's uh, Jake Paul. I want to see you smash his ass. Uh, I believe in you, man. Just put in the work. If I fight that guy, bro, I'm going to hurt that little Disney boy if he fights me. This is going to be a huge event, and not just because of Paul and Perry. Oh no, there's more. Jake Paul is willing to slide a front row ticket to the notorious Conor McGregor. Now we know Connor has beef with both of these guys, so him pulling up to the event only makes things even bigger and exciting. No, no, it's going to be an interesting night for boxing and one you can't afford to miss out on. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.